In this era of mass shootings and acts of terrorism, the painful question is often why these tragedies happen and what motivates senseless violence. In this case, one suspect told police he was involved with a group that threw an explosive device into an occupied church because he thought it would be fun. 18-year-old Caden Renard said that to police during a two-hour long questioning. According to this police report, Caden and his twin brother Connor were pulled out of classes at Basic High School last week by FBI agents and detectives from the Southern Nevada Counterterrorism Task Force. Connor Renard told police an unidentified female had a beef with the Mormons over a boyfriend she'd had who was Mormon. Connor told police that the girl told him sometime last year she had thrown a mortar at the Mormons and she got her revenge and wanted to do it again sometime. Police were able to zero in on the brothers using security camera video and cell phone activity. Caden allegedly admitted he was the driver in a March 27th incident involving an explosive device at the LDS church on Arrowhead Trail and that he was with the person who at about 8 p.m. lit and threw a mortar device into the church's gym when a youth group meeting was taking place. Four people were injured, including a juvenile who suffered burns to her torso and leg as well as injuries to her ears. Others reported cuts and burns from being hit by debris and hot ash. At the exact same time on March 27th, an explosive device was thrown over the fence of a baseball field at Mission Hills Park, just a mile and a half south of the church. Detectives were able to connect these alleged crimes to two previous incidents at the same church. On March 4th, a suspect entered the church, throwing a lit explosive device into the lobby area. And on February 24th, three men entered the church, two turned off the power, while the third attempted to light a bottle rocket. They fled when confronted by a staff member. The Renard twins are facing over a dozen felony charges. Their bail was set at a million dollars and both remain behind bars at this time. A source close to the investigation says authorities are looking at possibly adding hate crime and terrorism charges, and they are still investigating additional suspects. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for June. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.